turns out sensitive kids are more likely to be better at sarcasm than insensitive kids. <laughs> yeah, because that makes a lot of sense. Anthony here for DNews, and we have a tendency to think of sarcasm as an insensitive thing, but it turns out that more empathetic people, especially children, tend to be better at picking up on it. Most children tend to understand simple sarcasm between the ages of six and eight. Some children take longer, sometimes up until adolescence. And to find out why, researchers had children aged eight and nine watch a series of puppets that were either giving genuine or sarcastic praise. And afterwards, they were asked whether the puppet was being nice or mean, and the kids only picked up on it about half the time. Great job, baby geniuses. But children with stronger empathy skills were about twice as accurate as those without. The researchers also watched the children's gazes and reactions during sarcastic remarks, and more empathetic kids seemed to know that something was up, even if they couldn't quite place it. They just felt like something was wrong. Interesting that the people most likely to be hurt by sarcasm are the ones most likely to pick up on it. But why study this at all? What do we get from it? Sarcasm is a pretty interesting thing. A popular theory says that we developed it as an emotional tool that helps poke around a conversation and see what the polite boundaries are. Since the words are the same, but the intention is different, it's a safe way to show dissent without having to get in trouble for it. Yeah, the new boss is super rad, and then maybe everyone laughs, and then maybe you just don't make fun of the new boss again. You'd think picking up on sarcasm would happen entirely in the left side of the brain, where most of our language processing takes place. And part of it does, but most of the heavy lifting is actually done over in the right parahippocampal gyrus, uh, a bit in the right hemisphere that's known mostly for figuring out visual context. Turns out it helps figure out social context as well. Uh, if an adult has an inability to pick up sarcasm, especially if they lose that ability all of a sudden, that can be taken by doctors as an early sign of frontotemporal dementia. In 2002, something called the Awareness of Social Inference Test, or TACIT, was created to use sarcasm to find dementia in people who passed every other neuropsychological test. And in a lot of cases, it can catch dementia before anything else. If a child has an inability to detect sarcasm, it could be an early sign of schizophrenia or autism. Or it could just mean they don't come from a sarcastic family. Those kids tend to be snarky by the age of four. What a bunch of adorable overachievers. I think sarcasm is probably the only thing that kept me alive and sane in high school. I still use it as an emotional crutch constantly. You might have noticed. What about you? Fellow snarkbots unite? No? Let me know down in the comments and subscribe for more D-News.